All right, so let me tell you guys the definition of a good gym that has striking. The best type of gyms are those that don't be doing hard spars every single damn day. They emphasize more on doing light technical sparring because let's be real. Imagine you're hard sparring every single day and you're taking blows every single goddamn day to the head. Bro, it's like you're speed running towards CTE. I get it, hard sparring can be really fun and really enjoyable, but do you really want lifetime brain damage? We think that it may not happen to us, but dude, it's happened to multiple, multiple fighters. This shit is not a joke. Literally, it, it's not a joke. There was a kid that I know that trained at a gym kind of like a couple towns away from me, and he had a fight. And the week of the fight, he did like two or three hard spars. And when he took up that fight, guess what? He died. Imagine if he didn't do those hard spars prior to taking up that boxing match. How dumb do you have to be to fucking risk yourself, risk your fucking brain prior to a fight by doing a hard spar? Are you dumb? And unfortunately, a lot of gyms don't really understand that hard sparring every single day is unacceptable. Even doing a hard spar like three, four days a week, I still think is pretty crazy. Imagine during a hard spar, you probably take multiple blows to the head and you're doing that four times a week. You're gonna get CTE in no time. And the crazy thing is you haven't even taken up a fight and you're getting CTE before your even first fight. So it just doesn't make any sort of sense at the end of the day. So something with my gym is we do sort of these light technical spars where we're not going super crazy on each other. We're mainly just working technique. We're getting in this whole flow rhythm where I'm throwing the jab, I'm throwing the right hand, and I'm not really aiming to hurt my opponent. You know, I'm tagging him a bit, but it's very light. It's nothing crazy. And I think light technical sparring is actually how you get better as a fighter. All hard spars really do at the end of the day is build mental toughness, but that's kind of about it. When you're doing a light technical spar, you're able to really utilize technique, which is super important, especially when you take up your first couple fights to be able to throw your jab properly, for example. Now, my gym, just like a lot of other gyms, has a couple of assholes who, despite it being a light spar, like to go a bit harder. And this is something called ego, and I think it's completely unacceptable have this sort of ego during sparring now i don't know what it is i think it might just be human nature where you know if we just keep getting tagged we like to kind of go a bit harder or we like to go hard in sparring to sort of prove a point which i think is just stupid as fuck and i think a lot of gyms even if you guys just mostly do for the most part light technical sparring are still prone to this so what i would really recommend man is stand your ground and tell your partner yo this is a light spar please bro go light and if they're still going hard you kind of have to put your foot down and throw a hard punch back and tell him yo if you keep throwing hard at me like this i'm going to throw hard back stay in your ground bro and hopefully by then he fucks off and starts to go a bit lighter at the end of the day you don't want to be giving people in your gym brain damage you don't you guys at the end of the day are here to get better together you're not here to inflict brain damage on each other. Your enemies aren't your sparring partners. The other gyms that wanna fight you, those are your enemies. So if you go to the gym and they do a lot of hard sparring, simply put, don't go to that gym. I would highly recommend, man, you go to gyms that emphasize light technical sparring. It's okay to have, you know, a hard spar, maybe like once a week. Even then, a lot of times with hard sparring, it shouldn't be like you guys go and scrap no, it's like you guys should still utilize technique even during a hard spar. There's no reason why you guys should still be going crazy on each other and trying to give each other brain damage because it just doesn't make sense. And you're less likely to implement proper technique during your fights. Now, I've just built a Discord for martial artists to like looking to dominate in competition. So join the Discord. Link is in the description below. And I hope to see you there, man. If you enjoy content like this, make sure to subscribe and remember my boys, stay active, stay busy, and most of all, stay hungry.